Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Soulpreneur Network. I have my dear friend Jackie here for part two of a three-part series. Jackie, welcome to the conversation. Thank you, thank you. We also have our dogs that are going to be intermittently barking, <laughs> if you can hear our dogs. So today's conversation is such a juicy one. We're going to explore what it looks like to really embrace the divine feminine and make room for the divine feminine to be a part of our business. That's kind of an interesting topic. So let's go with it. Before we do that, though, Jackie, please introduce yourself and let us know who you are and who you serve. Gosh, you know, um, it's always interesting to be asked that. I, obviously, Jackie Nelson, um, I've been channeling uh, the Mary Group for 22 years in March. And uh, who I serve is anybody who wants to live a life that feels good and is good. And um, really anybody, anybody who wants to reach inside and live and be and, and love and um, honor, you know, live in union, I think. Mm -hmm. If you're not interested in living in the energy of union, I'm probably not anybody you're interested in talking to. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will own that comment and leave it into <laughs> mine. So hi, everyone. In case you don't know me, I'm Kelly Geisler Wilson. I am a business coach for soulpreneurs. So I really help support heart-based, soul-based entrepreneurs run and scale their businesses in a very heart, soul, and energy aligned way. So if business to just make money and to um, just live in a surface experience with your business, if that is your focus, then I'm not your coach. <laughs> <laughs> This is about um, heart, soul, energy, and strategy alignment and tactics alignment, because we don't want to repress the masculine when we're focusing on the feminine. And we certainly don't want to repress the feminine when we're focusing on the masculine. And that's the conversation of today. So let's get into it. Um, we're going to preface this by just also saying that we're probably going to have some guest speakers in this conversation. Jackie, do you want to just announce uh -huh. that? Sure. So I touched on that I channel. If you're not familiar with me, uh, the Mary group is the group I channel. They're, a, they're a, a consciousness council of nine differing beings um, that have come together to assist us really in the shift in our world right now from the energy of separation to the energy of union. Mm -hmm. And I can guarantee you they're going to pop in here and have <laughs> the majority of my time in the show. <laughs> which I always love. I'm in the background. People ask me often, where do you go when the Marys come in? And I say, I think I go where I'll be when I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's great. It's a beautiful, Aww. wonderful place. And I'm also, I love being alive and being human. So I'm always glad to come back also. So, um, but that's, yeah. that's what I do. And that's what I'll pop in is the Mary group. Jackie, well, I think announced it last time she announced it when they decide, decided to come in and they are certainly a who to be in conversation, <laughs> I'll just say that. Yeah. So this conversation <laughs> started out in a couple different ways, um, but I'll just bring up the first one. So there's two different ways to approach goal setting, right? January was just a couple months away. It was the new year, the new year intentions. Everyone has new goals for the year. And I started creating kind of a movement, if you will, and a service offering because I wanted to do goals differently. And I am about kind of doing life differently, doing business differently. And that is making room and be like leading with the feminine and having the masculine support the feminine and really embracing my feminine side because um, I've, I've operated in corporate for 25 years. I'm a project manager by trade. I am an IT person by trade. I can really do good work in my masculine. So it requires an effort for me to really, that's why I say make space and make room and be conscious about my feminine, um, because it's a shift. It's, a, it's an intentional shift for me. So um, there is a different way of living life in life in a blended way and even living life, approaching it with the feminine first. So Jackie, I'm going to toss this over to you. Let's just start with this. What does that mean to you when I say um, living life with the feminine? Uh, you know, it, what, it's what's interesting, what stirs me. And if I might, just for a moment, you know, talking about goal setting, I hit my, you know, I hit that 60 in November of last year. And so it's a decade, you know, I, I right away thought, wow, you know, 
what do I want to do with the next 10 years? What's this decade about for me? Mm. And um, absolutely, there's a differing way of looking at that. So taking that and looking at it from the feminine, the, the thing that triggered in me or came up in me is years ago now, thank goodness, um, you know, people used to always talk about women getting together, the feminine getting together, really bringing out what that divinity in us is. And I was, I was like, what's that about? Why would you why would you rule out a whole gender, you know, of people? And we're all people and it's amazing when we're all together. And then I started experiencing some gatherings with women and it's so drenching and so, ah, mm -hmm. feeds just something so deep and primal really within me as someone who's expressing in a feminine way in this lifetime. And I think for all of us, really, when we can be in a space where that divine feminine is not only allowed, it's, it's invited, it's asked for, it's cherished. And we can let that move. Everything in my life started to change. And I started to realize who I was like you outside of that. I was a HR director for many, many years and I worked in the not-for-profit field, which was helpful because it is very different than corporate. However, I was the head of, you know, the Society for Human Resource Management where all of the different, you know, companies mm -hmm. and such were part of that. I could totally feel what it was to be in a corporation and, and how that's a bit more masculine directed. And I had the fortune of working and maybe a woman was at the helm of ours. Um, but yeah, so the divine feminine for me is um, just, just this depthful, differing richness and real and wholeness and truth of expression and compassion um, and wisdom that, wow, who are we if we don't really tap into that, that wisdom? And Mary often talks, and I can tell you they're going to come through soon. They talk about the gathering of the feminine wisdom from the primordial ooze, from where it all started and who we all are, and how right now is a time in our world that that is really rising. And I think either you're going to jump in or you're going to find out about it because it's not laying back down. Mm. And um, so for me, the divine feminine is, is just, it's, it's different. It's of equal value. It's not better than anything else. I guess I always feel like I, I want to put that in there. It's um, something not to be missed. Before they come in, I want to, I want to just offer this as well. You know, for <laughs> me, it is about, um, it's very important for me to highlight it is not about you know society is making this big change we are we are waking up and we can see this as evidence in society the me too movement was a huge one of the women empowered voices being shared mm -hmm. and there's mm -hmm. other things that are crumbling and it's not about flipping to the completely other side and repressing the masculine and so it's easy to, in that conversation, be overly focused and assume that's where we're going. We're going for a blended union of masculine and feminine. I also want to level said, everyone has equal masculine and feminine within yes. them. It's not yes. based on your sexual orientation. It's not based on your biological identity. It is, you have both energies. And for me, I, when I think of it in my business, you know, it is a heart-led, soul-led business, a service. Like I live in service and I offer my business in service. I connect with people and it is about, um, so I subscribe and I really, one of my kind of core values is rising tides lift all boats. You know, we are here to help each other, you know, and I might have this thing that I can offer and we're going to get into that one word that you said, and I loved it. Jackie just said it, which was, I'm not the answer. I am an answer. So I can help you, you know, raise your boat and you're going to help me raise my boat and we're going to help each other raise boats. So that's part of the feminine, the feminine is emergence. And I'm going to offer, I've done the strategy. I'm really good at strategy. It's my number one skill set. And and when you layer it on top of allowing the intuition and the emergence and the, the wisdom, the soul wisdom and guidance to lead you, magical things happen. And I'm just going to lead one more thing. When you were describing the feminine, I was just brought to a vision last night. I was cuddling with my, I have four boys, 11, my 11 year old boy, and he was resting and we have cuddle time every night. So I'm still lucky to cuddle with my 11 year old boy. <laughs> 
and um like the that nurturing feeling and when you were describing the sisterhood that nurturing feeling the supportive container mm -hmm. that the feminine offers is just so juicy and so good so those are the words i wanted to share beautiful <laughs> delicious absolutely and and i, I just want to pop in there that I've got an almost 30 year old who still lets me cuddle him mm. <laughs> and I see him so and and it, it's really about nurturing and we all desire that male female whatever it is you know uh, it's 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 something we have to quench I think it's as important as curiosity and you know what Mary always says without curiosity, nothing would exist. Mm -hmm. And without nourishment, nothing could thrive. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's go. They're coming through. Talk to All right. You. Let's <laughs> welcome them in. I'm excited. <laughs> ah, ah, we were very good at waiting. Yes. <laughs> I guess you were <laughs> not waiting in the way that you're waiting for someone else to give you permission or decide it's your turn. Waiting in that succulent way of the the what we call the succulent pause. You know, really being in the bask of who are we now that we've come together into this moment and giving it its time. Mm. Yes, that is actually part of the divine feminine also to not be in a rush or in something so far ahead of where you are, to really, truly, absolutely understand and hold space for, and maybe even insist on mm -hmm. being in the quench of this succulence, to not rush past, to when you speak of being in service, you can't be in service of something that hasn't happened yet. You can certainly help to create dreams and and wonderments and creations into it. And yet when the divine feminine rises, it has a wisdom that knows this present moment, just as you spoke to with your son snuggling in, this present moment is everything that matters. And that is whether it's a, a beautiful sacred intimacy such as mother and son, as well as if you are in your world of business or movement or traffic, yes? that this present moment, there's a succulence and a pause of realizing and, and therefore, uh, you know, realizing the moment, realizing your exchange, realizing what you're in interaction with. And then you have so much more to pull from. You might be storing that for later, yes? You might actually be sending it to somewhere you've already been that needs a little bit more didn't get quite completely everything it needed to be nourished. If you, if you bring yourself into this moment, and it is, it's, it's in the pause. And we heard you mention that Jackie had spoken of, I am an answer. Mm -hmm. How can you know that if you're rushing all the time or if it's about pounding something out or pri you know, prioritizing and saying, this is the dot, this is the dot, this is the dot, yes? And, and you miss all the dash, all the spaces in between the dots, yes? Is to really get the power and the, the amazement of, and in that, what else can come up? What are all the and answers people can realize within themselves, for themselves and for what they have to share? That pause, that pause is the, is the absence of fear and the, the divine feminine. And we, we'd just like to speak just for a moment. We promise not to, you know, grab all of this. <laughs> we, we know we get excited. We, and, and yet to not be mistaken, just from our perspective, and please feel free to argue with us, yes, that the divine feminine isn't about a divine that like has some presence or precipice or, or, or uh, what do you call it, you know, something higher, yes, a, a, what you call it, a pedestal, yes, mm -hmm. it isn't about that, don't pedestal that divine, then you can't reach it or be with it, yes, you can't be in the succulent pause, it's when you can just for a moment bring yourself, you know, into yourself and say, oh, the divine, oh, let that really just like cascade 
through your whole being and touch everything, the divine feminine. It's like tasting the best taste, touching the most extraordinary texture, inhaling and, and registering with the infinite, absolute everything of beauty and love, the divine. Oh, let yourself grasp that and let it soak for a moment. That's the divine feminine from our perspective. And when you really let yourself have that, then your wild can open and your repression fade out and your voice and your soul's voice sparks right there in your own throat. And you must speak, whether you're verbal or in action or in your listening. That's the divineness opens everything. It's like digging down into the richness of the soil where the nutrients are, yes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And taking that, taking that into all your practices. Mm. Ha. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm I'm hearing uh, people that are watching this ask questions of, and you just gave a beautiful example. How do we embrace the divine? I have a fun fact. When I worked in corporate, I wore a dress every day I went to corporate. And that was my little way of staying connected. I'm okay. hearing you also like presencing, like you said, slowing down and not leading from the mind. Yeah. Not, you said dot, 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 but X, Y, Z and focusing on, I say, strategy of just X, Y, Z of being receptive in the emergence of the information that just bubbles up. One of my other ninja moves I just want to offer the audience is I lean back. When you lean back, you're in mm. your receptive mode. Yes. <laughs> yes. Really small the, the, uh, yes. One, one more, if we might offer is that's, that's a beautiful part of the divine feminine is to listen to yourself listening. Mm. Because in that space, you're not afraid of you and you're not afraid of anything. Therefore there's no rush. There's, there's the spaciousness for yourself and for the moment and the exchange, when you listen to yourself listening, it's that same thing, coming back, making room. Mm -hmm. mm. No rush. And yet forward mo movement, yes? Mm -hmm. Absolute momentum, yes, mm -hmm. indeed. <laughs> Can you shed some light on the shift that we're seeing of the, I don't know what you want to call it, the old paradigm of the very hyper-masculine way of running business to the emergence of really blending the feminine and the masculine in business? Well, that is, you know, very much, that's a, that's a piece of what we're here, uh, you know, in moving from the age or stage or practice or living of separation. Mm -hmm into into union and in union it is the coming together it's the it would one of the things we offer is in union there's no requirement there is all honoring for self and others yes and so in 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 that shift it separation is we are individuals who are having to kind of find our, buy for our own space, make sure we have our own success and protect out of fearfulness, perhaps, yes, that which is important to us and make sure we get to where we want to go, yes, or agree to be lost in it, yes, whatever it is. And in union, it's, you know, it's one of the things we talk about is like competition is, mm -hmm. in separation is, let me get over you. And then if you get over me, I'll try to pull you down or I'll get over that. Or we win or lose. Yes, all of those sorts of things. In union, it's let's rise one another up. And we spoke to that. So it, it is, the, the differing is, is in that pause. And we know that that might seem simple. And yet in that pause, you actually engage. You're actually alive, you're participating, you're living from your soulfulness, you're making space. When we talk about opening your wild, we're not talking about going wild. 
actually when people are like acting out and going wild, we know that what they're actually reaching for is their in freedom mm. to truly feel free, to know they're free. When you, when you, and, and that is, that is part of it. When you're moving from trying to actually not allow freedom, you know, so that everybody lines up and does what I need them to do so that I can get to where I want to go. That's such a separation practice. Yes. And it's, and it's inhumane. Yes. And so, because it doesn't recognize the equal value of every particle of existence. Yes. Where you're going in, in feminine, you know, in the, in the feminine rising up. And we love that you mentioned, it's not about taking over. It's about the feminine knows it's about standing together. It's about the whip. It's about the, we, we recognize and care for and offer to and are of service. Yes. With one another. And we all hold it in our own hands and, and everybody's hands are valuable. Yes. And so it is when, what you're moving into is the recognition that it can't be driven by the few anymore. And that's your, you know, we know there's warring, there's things going on in your world that there's been such a practice of there's a handful in charge and everybody else has to figure out how to survive. Mm -hmm. They can't continue. They're, your world and who you are. Now you aren't looking at you were you began in union. In the center of every being is that exquisite union from the primordial illusion, yes, of what is existence in its pure, extraordinary nature. Yes. Who who are you really? Yes. And and yet now you will be union as the shift occurs and what you're leaning into and bringing for with the experience of separation so there's there's wisdom that wasn't there before yes and yet there's the wisdom you've always had also and and relieving that which interrupts or diminishes yeah. that that full you know heart soul now when you talk about not coming from the mind we we always feel you know the mind is an extraordinary mm -hmm. uh, library yes However, we would we we do offer we agree with you that it's it's been really underutilized and overabused. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> and 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 when you really tap into the mind heart connection, your wisdom lives in your heart center, mm -hmm. and and everything that your mind needs. You talk about being a great strategist. Yes, your mind is phenomenal and knowing how to connect the dots. Now when when that connects with your wisdom center, mm -hmm. now you've got something going on, yes? Mm -hmm. And so it, it is um, how we see the shift or what we're recognizing is that it's the individual and the together. So it isn't individual and I must define myself as separate from you. It's individual and I know who I am in my own being and as the with with you. Mm -hmm. And that is in any system and every system. And so your systems that were built on division, they just aren't going to work mm -hmm. and they're not working. Yes. And your systems that are creating, you know, systems can actually be beautiful mm -hmm. <laughs> when they have honor in them mm -hmm. and when they have regard in them. And, and it's extraordinary when you bring people together and, they're there to love themselves. We, we will tell you, we always say self first. And we know that's the opposite of what most teach. Yes. And it isn't self only. That's the confusion. When you're actually sometimes when you're taught self last, you become, you can become more self only because mm -hmm. you know, it's not natural to not be right at the front for your own life and for what you have to offer to the world. And the and answers you are you are, yes. And, and so the, a confusion sets in. So we always say, you know, self first becomes self full. And, and then all of that overage goes to everyone else. And, and it doesn't mean I have to have my own first. You already, when you're self first, you already know that you are well. And in business, when you already know you're well, how you interact and how you operate, what you can create, it's completely differing than the world we watch in your corporations. Nobody knows that well. 
and, and you're fighting for well, and you might know mm -hmm. I'm well today, but I don't know if that'll be the same thing tomorrow. Yes. What happens when you shift that to, I know I'm well, my circumstances don't create my well-being. My well-being is already there and I can spend it to assist with, with contributing to the well-being of the whole. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's, that's the difference. And that is the divine feminine is not afraid of itself or anybody else. So I would like to highlight something that you said of if you're watching, if you're a solopreneur and you're struggling, mm -hmm. I'm going to say if you're an entrepreneur and you're struggling and it's, it's just not feeling right. Your business, however you've built it up to this point, is just not feeling right. You mm -hmm. likely, maybe a symptom is it's not a fullest expression of you. It mm -hmm. is, um, it's not serving in the capacity you felt it. Like, you know, there's more within you. Mm -hmm. You can't describe mm -hmm. it. That's the thing. It's often you can't describe it, right? Absolutely. It's a That's knowing. It's a knowing. It's not translated yes. yet. Yes. Because um, the particles move on the vibration first and then become form and it might not be to form yet. Yes. Yeah. So heart. know that if that is happening, you know, and I see that as people who have a company that they don't love, that they're yes. showing up in a role that they don't love, yes. that they are, you know, delivering services that they don't love. And it's, yes. it's I'm going to say misalignment. Is that the word that you would use? Absolutely. So, so you're not in alignment with your true center essence. We would also have you ask yourself this question, where along the line have I, have I not really cared for me mm -hmm. in creating this business? Where along the line have I left myself out or agreed to participate with the energy I'm trying to step away from. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where along the line have I reduced something? And not in a how can I judge myself and see where I messed up at all. If you do that, breathe into your divine feminine, get in the quench of the pause, and then listen to your real voice. Yes, because that voice that abuses you is not yours. Yes. And so it is, it is, and so it, it's where have I forgotten why? And that I'm a part of the why, because you can, you can choose, I'm going to develop a business that other people will love, or it's for other people. You're not going to be able to do it and do it well and actually offer what you want to offer through it. Yes. It's got to include you. We tell people all the time, don't go anywhere without you. Yes. <laughs> and so particularly don't go into creating a business without you. Yes. And, and it doesn't mean, well, I'm just going to create something I like, and then everybody else has to figure it out. That's not it either. There, there's, it's the I and the we, it's the individual and the together. Mm -hmm. And so it really, it, it's where did I forget to love myself or to believe in myself or to be inspired by this and answer that I am? And let's just pick up the pencil again and see what I want to shift because you get, you can stop right in the middle of something you're doing and completely change it. Yes. Because life is changing every day and so are you yes and so it is how can i love myself more right now and in doing so love this business more right now and in doing that love what i'm doing more right now and in that love who's getting to participate in what i'm offering more right now yes and that's not an airy fairy kind of oh you're just talking mm -hmm. and just love everybody it's love which is a very active energy. Yes. It's, it's a, mm. <laughs> so I want to give a real life example. Cause that was one of the first ways that I built my business. So I left to start my own job to give voice to, you know, the, the, what was inside my soul to wake in yes. that and to share it. And I followed strategies that people told me that I need to follow in order to be successful. And I yeah. left Kelly out of the business. <laughs> Uh, yes. So it was a very good example of it because again, this is where I go and I use, this is what I think I need to do in order to be successful. And so we're, yeah. we're, we're, we're breaking this down right now. Yes. And this is why I'm leading now and guiding. It's like, it's, you are the strategy. Yeah. You yeah. are the strategy. Yeah. Cause if that checklist that you said, got, did that, did that, did that, got that doesn't have you on it 
then it's a, it's not a complete checklist. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. You Absolutely. were you were moved to become an entrepreneur for a reason. And if you leave that reason and forget to build upon it, <laughs> you're missing the mark. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We were talking with a friend the other day who, you know, what we were recognizing is she is so great at pouring herself into developing and creating programs and believing in them and loving them and being inspired in that. And she forgets or something shifts about taking that into the avenue to the connectivity of who she'll share it with. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so you've got to know, you got to go there too. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm not just here. And then there's something over here that I want to connect with. I got to be in the connection, take myself with me into that and in the where I'm going also. Yes. Because I am everything I want to serve also. Yes. Right. Yes. So that's I the week. I have a friend who has coined this term, the slippery slope of the heart, because it's so easy. It is so easy for us humans <laughs> to slip into separation. It was so yes. easy. And I experienced oh, so it a practiced. lot. Yeah. Yes. So it's a, it's a practice for me to say, maybe what story am I operating or where am I operating from mm -hmm. connected? Mm -hmm. Is the eye coming into all of it? Am, am I bringing this along mm -hmm. or is it, did I just get into separation? So it's slippery. It's very yes. slippery. Yes, <laughs> it's slippery and, yeah. and you are, you are slick. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> humans are. So I was like, oh, it's slippery, but that doesn't mean it's, it's, it's better at being slippery than I'm at, like really creating what I desire. Yes. Right. And so you'll notice when you're in separation, what, what we, one of the keys are simple tools we offer to people is when those voices or things are going in there, something's not working. And you tell yourself something, always ask, is that true? Mm -hmm. Ask yourself, is that, is that thought I just had true? Or is this belief I had true? Or is even that I need to do that piece for my business true? Because right. you may be told, you got to leave yourself out of it. The masculine world is going to say to you, oh, honey, you can't even be concerned that you're a part of this. Yes. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, we bring a little flip, but yes, <laughs> and that it is. Yes, I do. That's why that quench is important. I have to know I am. And, 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 and truly though, we heard you say, if, you know, if, if you're just really about creating business to cause this, to cause <laughs> that, then, you know, go do that. Yes, yeah. if this isn't where you wanna be. Absolutely, that is for some people. But what we, what we ask also is, you know, and really, really say to people, cause so often they'll say, they'll tell us what they're against, yes? And we love to listen we, because it has to be said. People need to get that out. I'm against this, I'm against that, or I don't want this, or I don't want that. And we will say, what are you for? Mm -hmm. Yes, and what are you for for you? Because that's gotta be in there. Because if you're just saying, well, I'm for creating good in the world, that is beautiful, absolutely. I'm for me. I'm for me getting to have the experience mm -hmm. of creating really good things in the world mm -hmm. if you're not for you doing it then that's going to shift if or how or the ways it happens and how you feel in the midst of it that really to say i've and we know for some people that you right now or people who are listening might say oh that's uncomfortable you know say wow i'm for myself mm -hmm. having this experience not i want to have this experience that's another way but that's not the same thing i'm really for me mm getting to do this, getting to really, really love, mm -hmm. you know, having this entrepreneurship and, and, and doing what I want to do in the world. Let yourself feel awkward until you don't feel awkward anymore. And, and it clicks for you mm -hmm. because that's the difference. I can stand in this uncomfortableness of that without sheeping away or trying to downplay it or maybe reword it so it feels more comfortable. We're going to challenge you. Are you for yourself mm -hmm. having that? And, and because you can be for others, yes, having what they want. Are you for yourself having that? Yes. Mm -hmm. And not just because other people would agree with me, but because I'm really for me getting to have that. Yes. Yeah. Really get comfortable with being for you. We know that there, you're going to have things trigger up. We know all the teachings in the world. We know the difference between fearful loving and love that is of loving and in the best intent so many most all of you were taught with fearful loving i want to know your a parent might 
whether they're saying it or not, it's in them. I want to know you're safe in this world. Mm -hmm. So these are the things I want you to do or to know or how to fit in or how to, how to make sure you make it, those sorts of things. If it's fear-based, I'm fearful for you, yes? That push, you're going to start saying, well, then I need to obey these rules or do this or play by this and you know, do what you did. A lot of what you did in corporate, you actually were fed by. It was really great. There were pieces that it weren't. And you knew when, it, when you needed to do something different. And then you had to stick it out for a while longer to find some other things out. Yes. Until one day you just know this is it. I've got to gather myself and go. And then you realize, whoops, I forgot to gather myself. I just went. Yes. <laughs> now I got to gather myself and where I am. Yes. And go again. <laughs> and, and so love that is a loving isn't afraid for you in the moment or in the future. It's standing with you, reminding you of who you are mm. and inviting you to lean into that and to discover either who you are and what is already existing or who you are in creating something else mm -hmm. and, and being available for it, yes? Mm -hmm. And not pushing past that and just do, 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 go, go, go. Right. It's breathing and saying, no, my, my way is to actually get to pause and enjoy what I'm experiencing. Mm. We'll share something with you very briefly, if we might. We know we're full of stories. Go for it. But we spoke with a friend the other day, and this seems to fit into here, that someone that they knew passed very early in their life, very unexpectedly from actually a torn heart, we might offer, yes? And, and we found that person and what they were saying, they were mesmerized and kind of bewildered the, you know, the being after they had transitioned and, and kept talking about, wow, the last thing I sat down is the last thing I sat down. The last conversation I had is the last conversation I had. The, the last yes I had or the last no I had like really letting it sink in with that was it in that life expression. Mm -hmm. Yes. And not in a, I'm achy for that way. In a, wow, that's kind of amazing kind of way. And yet that was it. So if you're rushing past or, or letting yourself be pushed past because you have to have an agreement in that push, you don't do anything without your agreement. Yes. In some mm -hmm. level of you, if you, if you let yourself pause in my, Oh, that last pause, yes? How I moved with myself, how I experienced everything that I left, I left with myself saturated in it. Mm -hmm. And that's how you leave your trace, yes? And so we bring that in, not to say, you know, don't rush and, you know, life is short. We know that, that term we're saying is, this is your life and you are an answer. And how do you want to experience that? Mm -hmm. And you get to do that in any, any system, any, whether it's, you know, your business, your family, your social world, your grocery store. Yes. You get to live from your heart and soul and feel where those prints are and what you receive from that. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's abundant. Yeah. So don't have time to get into this today, but. <laughs> Certainly I've had conversations about the courage. I'm going to say courage, you mm -hmm. know, again, of saying, um, I get to make the choice Yeah, and I'm going to make this really brave choice. And yeah. like for me and what the difference for me between solopreneurs and entrepreneurs and why I changed my word before, you know, solopreneurs, I'm going to just categorize is, you know, I'm a solopreneur and it's the emer it's listening and leading with the heart and the yes. soul. Yes. That was my and choice. Yes. And I'm for me and I'm getting for me. to have that choice and be supported in that choice and yes. get to play in that choice. I'm for me yes. having, it. yes, absolutely. Yes. Oh. And then if someone else says, well, I, I'm choosing something else and maybe has some of that in it or none of that in it or all of that in it. I'm for you and that I'm, for you, for mm -hmm. what you're for, for yourself. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, and that's amazing. And I, you know, I might not participate with it or am I, right. and yet I'm for you. In it. it doesn't right. about if I agree with it or not. Right. If you're for that for yourself, I'm for you for that. Yes. 
Absolutely. Oh, so this is such a gift to the other people listening. May you be a solopreneur or an entrepreneur or someone just curious. Yes, I agree with the Marys uh, and Jackie. You do you. That's our term, right? You do you. Do it brilliantly in all of your life. Yes. Yes. And if you happen to want to be interested in this conversation, we are offering it. Yes. Yes. Continuous. I am going to say deep gratitude. Next week, we're going to have a beautiful conversation about collaboration and deepening into that energy versus the separation. So I can't wait to where to see where we go from there. I appreciate you all sharing the Mary's. Thank you. Indeed. Indeed. Live your own being brilliantly. Mm. Welcome back. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, this such warms my heart. And it is my deepest intention that anyone listening, it warms your heart too. May this inspire you. May this just give you a spark to even make us just a small change, something yeah. different, something blooming inside of you that just got watered a little bit yeah. more. Even if it just makes you curious, you know, yes. curious is such an extraordinary thing Hmm. yeah Um, let it make you curious yes and if you and if you slept through it it was talking to you in your subconscious (laughs) (laughs) oh yeah crazy dreams (laughs) (laughs) thank you everyone next week we are going to have a conversation about collaboration one of uh a quality of the feminine and really the quality of the um emerging consciousness that is emerging right now. And we're going to get into that. So that's going to be a really good conversation as well. Stay tuned, connect next week. Thank you, Jackie, for everything. Thank you, Kelly. It's amazing. Bye all.